5% evaluation share. What helped the Proby group improve were the nesting activities facilitated by training in the QA teams. This include in the daily this include uh, daily QA rallies, PID nesting bootcamp, call the name and the QRG web hunt. Sheila will discuss more of the details and the actions taken in the training slides. Second was the 27 reduction in PID uh, from 289 down to 210 hits. The PID supplemental audits were also conducted by the quality team and the PID refresher were also facilit were facilitated by training to help address our PID opportunities. Last one were the changes in some of the QA scoring parameters which made an impact on, on our overall score. One of the major change was the service fail parameter from 13 to 7 parameters in Q2. Another, another change was the temporary suspension of CSAT which was retained to a waiver reversal call. Moving on to the next slide, we can see that our service fails decreased by 75%. Uh, the decrease is mainly because of three things. First, the PID decreased by 27%. Second, <laughs> our non-action uh, service fails also decreased by 41%. Lastly, we had a change in... Ito yung tatanong ko sa'yo. Lastly, we had a change in the scoring. Six out of the service fails from being scored as zero overall, they are now just either a 10 or a 15 points deduction. I-sasabihin ko na lang yung, yung mga 15 points deduction pag tinanong. Pag tinanong lang? Oo. Tinirady mo Six service parameters in which the scoring were changed were disposition. Ito yung nag-change nag ha, 10 plus 10 points. Pag tinanong, ito yun no? Disposition, obtain color name. From service fail to ano? Uh -oh. To 10%. 10, uh -oh. 10 points. Uh -oh. Obtain caller's name, reputational loss, delay in answering, call disconnection, and call writing. Hence, the zero counts. The zero counts starting in April. This started with mga kung... Ang tanong kasi, dito yung hindi ako nakasagot. Did you really improve? To answer your question, yes, we still improved. We simulated the score using the old parameters and uh, the results showed that we have, uh, in Q2, we have ended at 72.50%. While this is not a big uh, increase as the 8% improvement, but this is still a 3.5 improvement compared to per the previous quarter. Kung may babalik yung all pa, ano, scoring. Okay. Moving on to the next slide is the section 1. Uh, this is the business requirement section. There's a significant improvement from 64% pass rate to 84% in Q2. 8 of the 10 attributes on business requirements improved by an average of 2.41%. What we are highlighting in this slide are the two focus behaviors that showed significant improvement. From uh, a pay customer information, for uh, for a pay customer information, we have identified two root causes based on the based from the agent feedback per. For a pay customer information, we have identified two root causes based from agent feedback. First is the lack of standard flow. Tama. First is the lack of a standard call flow that would guide the agent on when to verify the email, uh, email and the mobile phone. Agents are given the liberty to uh, verify the email and the mobile po phone at any point in the call. The tendency is that the agent, hence the tendency is for the agents to do this at the end of the call. On this note, uh, they are engaged on this Ha, paano yun ito? Ang Pag nagtanong, saka mo lang siya, saka mo na lang yan. <laughs> Sabihin. 
what we did is we modified the call flow and required agents to verify right after the ID. So uh, we sent out QA bits reminders. Uh, QA bits reminders were sent. Afterwards, compliance audit was done and call outs were made for the non compliant compliant agents. For PID, we have identified uh, incorrect understanding. We have identified 